What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing an Apple Watch initial setup and show you guys how to do it. There are a couple of steps on how to do this. And let me just show you, this is as soon as I turn it on, you get the language setup. So you get to choose English, your language that you want. You see English is Spanish. Uh, I believe that it's Chinese. Then you choose your region that you are from. And then the step one is open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. I believe that iOS 10 and iOS 9 came preloaded with uh, the Apple Watch app, but you might have to double check that because I'm not sure. So as you guys can see, the Apple Watch app is just a black app with a, with a picture of the Apple Watch sideways. As you can see, to say good afternoon and then the start pairing option. All you want to do is click start pairing. And step two is turn on your Bluetooth so that it can connect to your Apple Watch. So let me turn on my Bluetooth. My Bluetooth is on now, so let's start pairing. So the pair process is pretty simple, pretty cool, which is step three, hold your camera over the image that is displayed on your Apple Watch. And that is it, that's basically it. And then you set up as a new Apple Watch, or if you have another one, you set it up as a restore. And it'll ask you what hand you're gonna use your Apple Watch in, so I chose left. You just accept the normal terms and conditions, no one reads. After that, you go the, through the whole process, which is just basically putting your Apple ID and password information. This is pretty simple. Just uh, put in your password. And after that, it'll show you if you want to use your workout route, route tracking. So if you want to track your route and your shared settings, and if you want to put a passcode, if you want to use Apple Pay on your iWa Apple Watch, you have to enable a passcode or else it won't let you. So as you guys can see, I just... Uh, put in a password that I wanted to use and it'll tell you to re-enter it and after that your password is set and then there's an also another feature to unlock your Apple watch with your iPhone so that's pretty cool and then you enable Apple pay and I skipped that because I don't want to show any of my information and then after that the Apple watch is just syncing with the iPhone and getting everything ready so after that your Apple Watch is completely set up. And then from the Apple Watch app, you can begin to um, choose different watch faces and just things like that, customize it a little bit more. And also if you wanna install apps to your Apple Watch, you're gonna have to do it through the Apple Watch app, not through the regular app store because I didn't know this until I was like, where are these apps that are supposedly for your Apple Watch? and I don't see them on them. You have to go through the Apple Watch and then download them there and then it'll sync up and then you can enable them on your Apple Watch. So right now I'm just gonna show you a couple of things of the Apple Watch app, seeing what you can change, seeing what you can do your watch faces and I'll let you guys enjoy that. Alright, so as you guys see, there's a couple, there's a lot of good choices to use as your watch face. And some really cool ones, some stop motion, some Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And I believe in the new Apple Watch OS 3 update, there will be Buzz Lightyear, Woody, and um, one more character from the Toy Story series, but I'm not sure. And that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you guys want to see more. And don't be shy to leave uh, suggestions in the comments below. I'm up to doing anything. See you guys in the next one.